to zero one services today we will talk about how to run network simulator gns3 using gns3 vm on any apple silicon that is the uh, arm cpu architecture the first step is to get a hypervisor software and gns3 team recommends using vmware fusion pro which of course is a paid software so instead of that we are going to use the fusion player uh, which is a free version of fusion pro for that we will need a vmware connect account and let's open the url i'll put the link in the description here you can create a account uh, i already have one so i'll just log in account creation is pretty straightforward you just need to verify your email and uh, that's it So after logging in, here it will give you an option to download. So I already have it downloaded and let me run that. Alright, install. agree and here we can click on get a free license key and it will take us back to that page now we have a new license key here we can copy this and paste it here green check mark continue and done so now we have the fusion player installed uh, next step is to get the gns3 vm so instead of getting it from the gns3 website we are going to use the github library i'll put the link in the description this one and this is the latest one but uh, for this video i'm going to use an older version We have to expand assets and here we need to find the ARM file, this one. Alright, so the download is complete. I'm just moving it to my visual machines folder. So in the folder we only have two disk files. Let's go back to the Fusion player and here we can create a new virtual machine. We will select the Ubuntu 64 bit, move forward and we are going to select an existing disk. This is a different folder which machines five. So I'm going to select the disk one first. Keep it selected this one. And continue. Customize. We can name it anything. put it in the gns 3 vm and in virtual machines folder click save all right so the vm is created but before uh, making it run we are going to change a few things there first processor let's increase it uh, maybe it, yeah, that should be fine four cores and in the hard disk 
we are going to add the second disk existing hard disk going back to the folder and disk number two keep it like this open apply good and I'm going to run the VN now all right so with the VM is up and running here we can see the IP address for the GNS3 let's try that Here we go, the GNS3 is up and running and we can get a blank project, not anything. In the next couple of videos, we will talk about how to use the GNS3 GUI application instead of using this web interface and connect to it and also how to upgrade the existing GNS3 VM. Thank you for watching.